Hi there, welcome to this video. It's a video about bags, which I love, and things, which I love. I love putting things in bags. There are three different bags for three different occasions in this video. I hope you enjoy. This first one is a newly thrifted computer bag. It's kind of ugly, but also I kind of love it. The lining is a pistachio green and the handles are brown. I really love that combination. I thought it was fun to have a bag where I couldn't schlep a million things with me, but instead just a moderate like thousand things instead. <laughs> On this day of filming, I had an instructor class for my morphology and syntax course, so I packed my case for my glasses in case I ever wanted to take them off, as well as some lip balm and handkerchiefs in the front pocket. In the big room, I have a knitting project. This is just like a rag for the kitchen, which is great for knitting kind of mindlessly so I can still concentrate on the class. I also bring an extra skein of yarn in case I finish the first project. I also brought a little lunch pack in this silicone bag, pretty handy. The class is early in the morning and I don't always eat enough breakfast to get me through the two hours without like a rumbling stomach. The next thing is my iPad. I actually found this fun story. I found this trashed in a trash can out in public and then I uh, ordered a new screen and my dad helped me replace it because everything else was working. I use this iPad to read my PDFs and non-physical texts for my uni courses. Finally, I have my charger and computer, of course, for taking notes. Here you can see the pistachio lining, which had a tear that I mended after filming this. That was all for this bag on this day. Let's move on to the next one. This bag is pretty special to me. It used to be my late grandfather's and for a while my grandmother used it for groceries, but it hurt her back. I found a replacement bag for her with wheels and we swapped. It's a bigger version of my typical Fjellraun backpack and it has a separate padded room for a computer, which is perfect for uni. In the front pocket, I have my little digital camera and pink wired headphones in a small knitted bag I made recently for the same purpose. It's a good way to keep the camera from being scratched up and the headphones from being tangled. Then I have my wallet. The same sunscreen I showed off in my last What's in My Bag video and a small perfume sample from Dead Cool, which I plopped in there in case I needed an olfactory boost. I also carry an extra deodorant just in case I get out of the house without a fresh one on. This one's a men's scent, which I prefer. I have a small canister for painkillers, which I think is empty in this video, but the point still stands. It's a good thing to have for yourself and others. And finally, I have a small container of salt for any lunches I bring or buy, in case it's a little bland. My mom gave it to me and I think it's adorable. It's like a little tin and I just refill it when it's used up, much better than carrying those paper salt packets. In the side pocket, I have my water bottle, which was a birthday gift from when I turned like um, 12 maybe. 
thereabouts. Then in the aforementioned computer sleeve pocket, I have my computer and my iPad, just like the other bag for notes and referencing textbooks. In the main room, I have my lunch pack, computer charger, three notebooks, and pencil case. The pencil case is pretty cool actually. It's a wallet that I thrifted because of the soft material and like cool rectangular shape. I didn't know what to use it for when I bought it, but then I had like this revival of adoration for writing and drawing utensils along with a new habit of visual diary creations. So it all came together perfectly. I also have other stuff in the pencil case, such as a gua sha tool, a comb, sewing stuff, etc. Also brought the knitting project with me in this bag, as well as the extra skein and cases for my glasses. Here's a little snack, a chocolate bar, uh, as well as this licorice pipe, which is a common Danish candy, I don't know. Finally, there's one more knitting project, yarn and double pointed needles in this little green case that I love the look of, it's like a little worm. And at the absolute bottom there's a fork for my lunch and also a loose pen. It's a bit overkill to bring all of this, I definitely don't use it all, but what if I wanted to, you know? The three notebooks are, for example, my written journal, my visual diary, and my notebook for keeping track of general projects and readings for uni. So they all have different concepts and uses, and I need to bring them! <laughs> Luckily, I don't carry these heavily loaded bags for very long, so don't worry about my back. The last bag of this video is the one from my first what's in my bag video, which I'd recommend watching after this if you haven't and if you want to. It's this perfect roomy practical green velvet bag and it's actually designed to be a diaper bag. I just used it as like a regular bag since I don't have a baby or anything. I just really like the design. This bag in this clip is not packed for university, but for an excursion, which I actually filmed like a whole video about incidentally also, so you can watch that. First we have, of course, the Digicam in the knitted little bag, as well as the good old sunscreen. In this pocket, we have some girly stuff like a scrunchie and a lipstick and a chapstick, as well as this cool golden ballpoint pen. This was just in the pocket from another day and I kept it in there, I don't know. In the plastic lined pocket, I have my towel since I went swimming on that day. And for that excursion, an important thing to bring was tea. So I brought oat milk, sugar, and tea in a thermos. This was so nice to drink outside in the fresh air after a good swim. Then we have the aforementioned visual diary and pencil case, as well as a bag of ginger candy. water bottle, and a jar of my favorite olives. I'm a snavery, snavery? <laughs> I'm a savory snack kind of person, though I don't discriminate. Then there's my swimming clothes and a handful of apples picked near where I live because we were going to be snacking after the swim. Finally, I brought one of my favorite pairs of knitted socks in brown wool in case it got cold after the swimming, and I'm really glad I brought them, it was very nice and cozy. Oh, 
Oh, and finally in this pocket I brought my little plastic uh, baggie for filming underwater with my phone. I always bring that if I'm gonna be near water. <laughs> All in all, the main point of this video is that I love things and trinkets and knickknacks and creative projects and I love bags with their clasps and fabrics and colors and linings and pockets. So of course I love loading lots of things into my bags. I might even do like a whole bag collection video. It's one of my favorite ways to add like an accessory, pop of color, definition to an outfit. Let me know if you recognize the impulse to bring your whole apartment with you in your bag or if you bring some of the same stuff around as I do or not at all. I always feel like naked and vulnerable if I don't have at least like a water bottle and a chapstick in my notebook and an extra camera with me, but maybe that's just me. I hope you enjoyed viewing this and I'll see you in the next video.